It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Denver Broncos and the Detroit Lions coming up next. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Detroit Lions. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, these Detroit Lions... They won over a lot of people with the way they played under Dan Campbell last year. They started one and six, found their stride, won eight of their last 10 games and nearly got into the playoffs. And when you think back to how they almost got in that final Sunday night, going to Lambeau Field and beating the Packers, that tells you about the culture that's already been established there. All you need now is to watch this team continue to play. They're going to contend, I believe, in this season. Meanwhile, for the visiting Broncos, they're hoping to get this offense on track in year two under Russell Wilson. Charles, I wouldn't have believed this. They were the lowest scoring offense in the league last year, just 16.9 points per game. That means you have to change things up, and they certainly have. You talk about operating under new management. This team certainly is. I expect this offensive production to really rise, and Russell Wilson, I think we'll see much more of the Russell Wilson we've seen in the past. The punter Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Well, the Broncos offense gets set to go to work, and at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills, the ability to throw from the pocket, and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. Hey. Wilson gonna come out throwing. And under the Lions pressure, he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them. And that's why they got after them all the It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. Third play here this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. And he will have the Broncos first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Now a throw here to his running back. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. and really gets them amped up as they go forward. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here into the hands of the receiver, Judy. And Judy's going to have a Broncos first down as he's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line.
Wilson. And incomplete. And that is first incompletion after a four for four start. Yeah, but they should back off from what they're doing. I like the play calling right out of the gate. I like the tone that they're setting. Keep going in that direction. Second and 10. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Now it's Wilson. Screenplay set up for Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Well, that opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. The Lions offense set to take over. Because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. Now Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. They'll go with a rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. And he'll get maybe a couple, if that, up to the 46. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. To throw is gone. That one to the right side and incomplete. I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Back deep for Denver, the rookie Marvin Mims. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Wilson's throw taken in by Sutton. And they'll get him down up past the 15. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. So what do you do if you've got a defense in cover three trying to keep everything in front of them? The answer seems obvious. Just work those routes in front of them. This is going to be a hitch route, but he's operating in plenty of space, and he makes the catch here for a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. No, oh, a heck of a move. Man. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That good for 22 at a first down. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. Back.
Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. And that's caught inside the 35. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 31. Play action, it's Wilson. And he will find his man Sutton, that's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Now a first and 10 at the 11. In motion, right one of the tight ends. Up the middle, it's Williams. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle. He's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to lead to a third down. substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's 3 zip. So after drive number three here, we have a score, and it's three points after the field goal. I would say the feeling out process for both these teams, I'd say it's over, partner. Everyone understands what's going on now. You've kind of probed a little bit. Now you want to start throwing the big shots. First three points up on the board could be significant. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Now golf on first down. Finds Gibbs on the check down. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Pulling a gain of three on the play at its second down. certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll fake the handoff. Now gone. Over the middle and there's a diving catch. And he'll be 
taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it, and he got it. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 48-yard line. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 34-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now it's gone. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Off play action. Here's golf. Complete to right. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Now a first down throw. Gone. He'll find Reynolds over the middle. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on, because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Goff throwing again. That's complete to the portal. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Throw left side caught by Laporta. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Throwing again is golf. He's got his man. It's caught for the Lion touchdown. Jared Goff to Alvin Ross St. Brown. And the Lions have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. They went five wide in that offensive set. And race and going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead.
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. They go play action with Wilson. A short one to the tight end Troutman. Six yards to pick up and that's a first down. Play action. Now Wilson. Now he's flushed out right. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Ball on the 39. Here's second and four. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 53 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Defensively, they were in the 3-4. Solid run up the middle. What made it successful? Well, what you have to do is control the nose guard, but sometimes you don't do it by blocking him. You do it by influencing him. Get him moving to one side or the other and hit him back on the opposite. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 41. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball, the ones in the huddle doing the chirping, right now I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. All right, rifles one and that's going to be intercepted. And the Lions are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. Detroit's offense ready to take over. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second and six. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. 
Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The Lions on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Play action. It's golf. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. But forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 34. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. There are times on carries like that where he looks a little bit older than his rookie status. How many times have we talked when we've gone out to dinner about how precocious these youngsters are that come into the NFL now? They play at a higher level at a younger age. The stars aren't quite in their eyes as much as they used to be, huh? And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Back to Montgomery on second down. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Has got it, and they will take over at the 26 yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball, it's tucking it away, it's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it happen. Javante Williams and the rest of the Bronco offense back out onto the field. Now, the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. They'll fake the give. Now golf. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. On fourth down, Goff to the sidelines, and Detroit has Riley Patterson out there for the field goal. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. Patterson's kick is good, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So the defense are able to force the interception, and the offense working their way into field goal range and able to get three out of it. Yeah, and give them credit for that. They took the ball maneuvered it downfield and while they couldn't get exactly what they wanted which was a touchdown they did get three points out of it so they paid off what the defense gave them both sides would be thrilled with that here are the lions now as they line up and kick this one away from his end zone marvin mims pushing his way through. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The offense getting set again. We spotlight Javante Williams, the running back. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's He's been great. 
but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat, make sure he touches it a few times, but as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. and the punter is on as he sends it away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Lions will take over. David Montgomery and the Lions about set to begin this next series. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to have time to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series. That's where those surface tablets come into play. <laughs> Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, certainly going to be a lot tougher adding a touchdown to that lead now since they're facing second and 20-plus. Big-time sack to start the drive and put the opponent way back. Let's see what kind of play call they come up with here. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And shutting him off, now open field. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Caught the defense off guard there a bit on second and long, but now you still have to deal with third and long. Yeah, you do, but you feel pretty good about the last play, don't you? And maybe it gives you a little bit of confidence dialing up the next one that maybe your team will believe in it when you send it in. Throwing on third, golf. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos. At their own 26. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Levi Onzerike charging in and finishing off the sack. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. 
I don't care what the down and distance. They've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. So the completion good for six yards. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. Send the tight end in motion. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. On springs free, Montgomery loses it. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Our score, 10-3 to with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Now Montgomery, he's got it on the draw. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Better ball security, but not much else to show for it. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Now gone. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. On first and 10, golf. Over the middle, complete. It's Gibbs. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here's second and seven. To throw is gone. Reynolds and this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 33 give them 12 yards on that one it earns him a fresh set of downs so they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33 Goff now looking to throw and that'll be caught in St. Brown and he doesn't quite make it taking it within an Dropped at the one. Montgomery. No signal, and now they say he did not get in. He is stonewalled at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. To throw on second down is gone. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody, a 
and incomplete. Uh, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Less than an extra point attempt here. This is an 18-yarder. Patterson's kick is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. The Lions got a very strong performance out of their quarterback, Jared Goff. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. in the lead and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway and good starting field position he'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line the Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three and Charles they've got the lead put your coaching hat on here now what's the game plan for the second half I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys are lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Here's Goff. That's to the tight end, Laporta. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that'll leave them with a third and two. Here's Goff. That is caught. And he is going to have the Lions first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route. And I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Here now a third down and eight.
Goff now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 27-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. From the 20, here's second and a couple. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Toss left to Montgomery. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Alex Singleton, the linebacker, there on the tackle. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guys at the cornerback position. Quick toss by Goff is complete. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. They'll run with Gibbs. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jameer Gibbs, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Lions take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Williams to start the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Here's Wilson to throw. A short one to the tight end, Troutman. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. This offense 
in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Wilson. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for Denver. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Play action. Here's Goff. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Great effort by Alex Singleton as he finishes that playoff. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Here's Goff now on second down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Gone. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And they'll get him down here at the 23. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there and take the hit and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And Denver getting set to take the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos. Just shy of the 30. He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Second down and a yard. They run it again with Williams. Stiff-armed him. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 18 big yards on that one and a Denver first. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. 
Second and 10. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. On second down, here's Wilson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Wilson. That one behind his receiver and incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. And Detroit back in possession of the football. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here, and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at the 20. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe... Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now second and seven from the 23. Here's Goff. Slant pass. He's got Reynolds. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. And that's pulled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one goes for 30 yards. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach. And that's a strong step towards getting it done. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And off comes to Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Now Goff. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Throwing on third, Goff. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Multiple defenders in there to bring him down as this quarter comes to an end. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. As we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. And the football going back over to the Denver Broncos. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest.
Wilson and the Broncos now with a first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson, a short one to the tight end Troutman. And he'll get this up to the 30 yard line. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Wilson. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. Here's a second and five. They go play action with Wilson. Going to throw right side here, complete. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. From the gun, it's Wilson. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 33. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and six. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 23. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. They go play action now. Wilson. And that is incomplete. And defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. the main field goal lets to kick it away 
No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. A give. This is Montgomery. 44 yards for him on the ground now on 18 carries. I know at times today's NFL sure feels like everything's about the guy throwing the football. But when you've got a guy who can run it and move it and gain this type of yardage, he'll take him each and every time. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stack that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. On second down, Montgomery. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. The Lions on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and four. Golf. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 40. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory, right at the 40. Now a run with Montgomery. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. On the stop that time, it was Josie Jewell. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 18. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people have pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not it. Puts it on the carpet, it's out. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seems like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. 
Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Denver's offense now set to go. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive dead with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. On first down, Wilson. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively at second down. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen, but this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. Now a second and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will set up shop red zone territory at the 13-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Amon Ross St. Brown and the rest of the Detroit Lions getting set for another series here. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. On first and 10, here's Gibbs. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it. And you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down. Have to stop them. Have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Now it's gone. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Set to take over. The Broncos offense trots back out. 
Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. On first and 10, it's Wilson. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. That's caught inside the 20. A huge play there for Denver. 62 yards. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Here's second and 10. Now Williams running left. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Javante Williams taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Broncos are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals. Before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 60 yards rushing now on 23 carries so far. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. That good for 19 and a first down. 
This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field, they can't slow them down, they're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. Now Montgomery. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if he picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to – second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Give him two yards, that sets him up first and goal. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions, and they were booing Charles by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Lions as we say so long from Ford Field.